Um, and while we're on the subject of consuming, maybe the, I know there's something with four cups of wine and a fifth cup and Great. does everyone get to drink four cups of wine? <laughs> or how does that go? <laughs> so yes, so the, the Seder is structured so that there are four different cups throughout the Seder at different mm -hmm. points of wine from beginning to end. Each one has a different symbolism attached to it mm -hmm. and there's some poetic traditions of reading them differently with different values or different points in the Seder. So those move through. It should be said that's wine or grape juice. So mm -hmm. there is no obligation for someone who's uh, not consuming alcohol mm -hmm. to have wine. And mm -hmm. in fact, there are lots of reasons why people do, don't or shouldn't consume alcohol. So mm -hmm. grape juice is an equally good alternative. The idea is not to get drunk. The mm -hmm. idea is to rejoice. Okay. And wine is a symbol of joy. Mm -hmm. And the fifth cup? So there's often a cup of wine that's sitting on the Seder table might look something like this, which we would call the cup of Elijah. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a cup that we don't consume, but that sits on the table as an offering to Elijah the prophet. Elijah represents the coming of a time of redemption and freedom for the whole world. And so we literally will open our doors, invite in his spirit mm -hmm. in hopes that that time of great peace and joy and freedom will come and offer him a cup of wine. Ah. And in our own day, actually, there's another modern adaptation to the Seder, a beautiful other ritual, which is to include as well a cup of Miriam, a cup of water for Miriam the prophet, mm -hmm. who's one of the heroes of the story of Pesach, mm -hmm. and recognizing her incredible contributions to the Jewish people and Jewish continuity, especially because she is associated with bringing the people water in a time of thirst. And we can think then of Miriam and other women, particularly throughout history, who have brought great resources and great nurturing to our people often haven't been recognized as much as they ought to have been. Okay. We can honor them here. Very nice.